I'm Rick Harrison, and this is my pawn shop. I work here with my old man and my son, Big Hoss. Everything in here has a story and a price. One thing I've learned after 21 years, you never know what is going to come through that door. Your name, your name, Rick? Yeah. Does Rick have this much hair? I don't think so. What's your real name? Rick. Tell the truth. So what do you got? I have something very special to me. It is precious. Precious, I tell you. I shall tell you the elegant tale of how I acquired it on my father's orders in the war. Uh, please, Rick, look there. Let us take a flashback right there. Bad head, come here. I'm here, father. You, you must continue the family legacy. Here, take this rifle. And this shawl. Here, take it. What must I do, Father? You must continue the family legacy. Take the rifle. I shall, Father. I shall continue the family legacy. Y'all. So that was the elegant trail of how I got this item at Henry's rifle. Now, the reason why I have to sell this is because about 20 years ago, 20-ish, um, I had a little problem with the Azerbaijan government. The Manly Majes paid me to build a Muslim temple. Oopsie daisies. But I kept their money, so now they're after me. Problem, yeah, I know. So that's why I have to sell this. Because I need to pay them back, or they might do some, like, Muslim evil magic thingy they do, you know? So, problem. But anyway, but look, the Hindu temple I've made is pretty snazzy. You wanna know what it's called? Guess. Guess. Um. It was the fire temple of Baku, I tell you! The fire! The fire temple of Baku, y'all! This guy seems a bit sketchy to me, and I don't think a single word of that story was true. In regard to the item, the Henry rifle was developed in 1860 by Benjamin Tyler Henry. The new repeating rifle was able to fire very rapidly and contained many bullets in its magazine. Despite the revolutionary style, the Henry rifle had a couple of problems. The barrel became too hot to hold in the summer days after a few shots were fired. Also, sometimes it was a bit difficult to load. However, the gun revolutionized what future rifles would be like, and by 1866, Oliver Winchester, a businessman, had people develop the gun more. They made it easier to load and put a wooden stock to protect the person's hand. The new model was created in 1866 and was the first rifle in all the Winchester rifles. So I really want this if it is an actual Henry rifle because I always love stuff from the Civil War era. If, it, if this is authentic, it would look great in my shop. Why are we doing a monologue about you? This show is about me, Paddy Pruitt. So this is my Henry's rifle that I won at the war, you know. So here. Okay. Take a good look, imposter. I mean, Rick. Um, okay, let me call in my friend to have a look at this. Oh, is your friend qualified? Yes. What's his name? Rutherford B. Hayes the third, the great-grandson of Rutherford B. Hayes the president. We shall see about that. What? Hey, all right, so what do we got here? A Henry's rifle from the Civil War. Yeah, you want me to see if it's real? It's real, all right. 
All right, well, well, they only made about 14,000 of these. Most of them was during the Civil War. The biggest key to seeing if it's real or not is if the barrel is uh, 24 inches. So uh, we're going to measure that. And the barrel uh, is, in fact, 24 inches. So uh, how much were you looking to get for this thing? A million AZMs to pay off my debt with the Muslims. Well, you could maybe get uh, 2,300 in an auction. You liar! You hey, liar! Hey, now, he's not down there. He's lied. It's a million AZMs, I tell you. I looked it up on the Google. Well, I don't know what the conversion rate is. He is a liar! You're probably not even the son of the president. Well, I, I, I'm not saying that this is real or not, but I'm only telling you. You're my father! Oh, no! It's father! Oh, no! It's father! I, I can't sell this. It's father! He's out to get me! Oh! Well, that was awkward, but that just goes to prove that you never know what will come through that door.